Yo, the new world, the bishop, Greg, and y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Five News report, man. Yeah, I know my hair wild and your dig, but like, you know, I don't gotta be all fly for y'all motherfuckers, man. Y'all better listen to this news stop playing. <laughs> now, check this out, though. Um, Oh, make sure you sign that petition, y'all. Get Donald Trump on Twitter. Find the change out link in the video description if you watch this on YouTube or in my Instagram bio, Instagram716. Also, check out my mom's mixtape, man. Still our grind. First Instagram mixtape ever. Uh, and if you go to at still underscore our grind, you'll find a link to the YouTube video where you can just watch it straight through. 24 minute runtime is straight heat, man. It's trash. Uh, Bishop Brady, uh, now, over in the United Kingdom, you had Boris Johnson, current Prime Minister, leader of the Conservative Party, against Jeremy Corbyn, uh, the leader of the Labour Party, for the national election, and Boris Johnson came out on top after a landslide victory, 364 seats to, uh, the 203 seats, the Conservative Party, to the Labour Party in the British House of Commons. So um, this was actually the worst defeat uh, suffered by the Labour Party since um, in 84 years. In the largest margin that for the uh, Conservative Party since Margaret Thatcher was in power back in 87. So this actually um, does not necessarily change anything for Brexit. Uh, Boris Johnson was already pushing for a no Brexit deal at first, and now they changed it. Now we'll see what happens with that. But Boris Johnson was in power with Green Hill and gradually. What up, the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for the Black Fox News report. Now, um, the results are in, actually. The House Judiciary Committee, uh, voted on whether they were going to proceed with the articles of impeachment that they presented last week. Uh, article number one being the abuse of power centering around Donald Trump's, uh, phone call on July 25th with, uh, the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, pressuring them to open up an investigation, publicly, publicly announce it. Uh, against uh, Hunter Biden, um, the son of Joe Biden, and also in Joe Biden also. Hunter Biden being sitting on the board of an uh, uh, energy company named Burisma out there in Ukraine. So uh, Trump using, uh, leveraging the, uh, 400, uh, the almost $400 million in military aid in order to do so. Now, uh, his comrades tried to cover this up, you know, and they've been resistant, like not trying to... Um, trying to block people from testifying in these impeachment proceedings and not turning over documentation. And that has led to the second article for impeachment, which is obstruction of Congress. So we'll see what's next. You know, the House is going with it. It's, it's time to impeach them. Green war on graduation. What up, the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Lives News report. So over in India, uh, in the state of Assam, you actually had two people that were killed uh, and the government's crackdown on these uh, anti-government protests. There have been a lot of protests, mass demonstrations going on ever since the uh, upper house of parliament had actually uh, passed or voted to approve this citizenship amendment bill after the lower uh, house had done so. Now the citizenship amendment bill basically provides a pathway of citizenship for the uh, uh, people coming from Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Pakistan, unless they're Muslim. And it also uh, has like other implementations in the country would have affected the 200 million uh, person Muslim population in India. And um, Narendra Modi, the prime minister, he's, al he's always been suggested as having a, a, a Hindu nationalist agenda. And, you know, this seems to follow that. But uh, there's been uh, hundreds of people that have been uh, arrested uh, in northern India. Um, you're talking about like curfews imposed and uh, Internet cut off. Green war graduation. What up, the new world, though? The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. So over in Iraq, thousands actually gathered at Tahrir Square to basically, uh, and that's in Baghdad, to basically um, condemn the brutal murder of this 16-year-old. So there's been a lot of anti-government protests going on uh, across Iraq and some brutal crackdowns as a result. Now, this 16-year-old boy was stabbed to death and then hung up for, uh, had his body hung up on a, a traffic pole because rumors had circulated that he had killed a number of anti-government protests. Keep in mind, people were protesting for, for, for life at this point, you know, they against corruption, uh, for basic resources like water and electricity and uh, jobs and all of that. So, um, you know, it's, it's serious business. Uh, and it was said that he killed a number of protesters, but the reality is he had actually just shot a gun in the air trying to get protesters away from the family's home. And, you know, unfortunately, he went out like that. But uh, the United Nations, though, has has condemned 
what Iraq has done to uh, the protesters or whatever, kidnapping, abducting, and murdering. Um, numbers say that the uh, civil, 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 um, security forces, pardon me, and militia have killed like 400 protesters. And, you know, it's, it's real like that, man. And a lot of uh, uh, human rights uh, groups say that uh, some prominent leaders have actually disappeared. So, shit is real over there, man. Green War and graduation. Before the other New World Door, the Bishop Grady Lane, he all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, over in, um, well, at BuzzFeed News, you know, they obtained a memo for the, from the Department of Homeland Security um, that basically uh, shows that the ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, they actually have been responsible for at least for the death of four migrants due to the lack of medical attention that the, the migrants received. Uh, there was a one incident where, um, so there was an ICE whistleblower that uh, had his revelation, uh, his or her, because I don't know what the, the sex of the whistleblower, uh, the revelations um, in the memo. Uh, one incident had to do with a man that caught meningitis, and after not giving, after giving grossly inadequate uh, um, medical attention, you know that man died. Um, other. And then how they reported it was just like wild, different, and misleading. And then also, you had another incident. There's other incidents of like, um, you know, even giving uh, people the wrong medication. Uh, one person, or, you know, mis bad misdiagnosis. One case was an eight year old kid that uh, had something wrong with his brain, but they said it was an ear infection. Gave him ear drops, and dude, ended up, little boy ended up having to get his whole frontal lobe removed. Like, like crazy shit. So, you see, they, they are not giving that the attention that is deserved. Meanwhile, graduate.